Hey guys, welcome to the channel and welcome to my first video ever. Um, first and foremost, apologies if the audio and the visual isn't um, on par. Um, there was a delay on some of my equipment that I ordered. Unfortunately, coronavirus, we're all in it together. Um, and unfortunately, shipping is delayed. However, I didn't want to delay any more. Um, I've been toying with the idea of you know, being able to reach out to everyone out there in the land of YouTube and further um, and try and link in with those guys and girls because this is going to be a channel for both guys and girls um, where we can share our passion for luxury sneakers. Um, on the table here I've got a small selection of mine and my wife's um, collection. Um, we do have in excess of $30,000 worth of sneakers. Um, this is just a small sample. Um, a lot of this, you know, a lot of the sneakers that we're going to cover in this channel channel are going to be of your high-end sneakers. We're talking about one thousand to two thousand, if not more, dollars in each individual pair. Um, I will cover across, you know, in, in the channel, um, my wife's sneakers. Um, she's, you know, typically got um, a lot of Chanel, um, a lot of uh, Dior, uh, Christian Louis Vuitton. Um, and also some of your Dolce & Gabbana. Uh, we will cover Louis Vuitton as well. Um, unfortunately, um, I did have a large selection of Louis Vuitton. Um, my wife does as well. Um, but, you know, to, in all honesty, um, probably not my favourite brand anymore. Um, not really being innovative, nothing too creative. I'm a big believer, you know, your sneakers are your first step um, in terms of setting out any outfit. Um, it's typically everything um, that puts your outfit together. And that's my opinion, um, and it's the first thing that you, is noticed when you step into the room. Um, guys, uh, like I said, the channel is directed to both guys and girls. Um, I'd love to see in the comment section, you know, what some of your sneakers might be. Um, you know, what you'd like to see me review. Um, unfortunately, you know, I'm not sponsored, so a lot of the um, sneakers that you do see and will see. Um, are going to be my own um, and my wife's and you know, unfortunately you know um, not everyone wants to be out laying a mortgage repayment um, every week to bring content however you know we do have in excess of you know 20 plus pairs that I'm sure you know will continue to grow and build on um, I do have a lot of brand new pairs that I haven't worn um, some I've purposely held off um, being able to you know obviously to wear so I can bring to you guys um, but I also will be sharing a lot of my, you know, my collection along my, my, with my wife's so that we've collected you know, over the year or, you know, at the latest uh, within the last, you know, 12 to 15 months. Um, but so everything is new. Um, there is a couple of pairs that I will share with you that, you know, I've had for a couple of years, but, you know, I've probably worn it maybe two or three times. Unfortunately, you know, due to life, uh, don't really get to break them out. Um, and unfortunately, you know, I'm not going to start wearing $2,000 sneakers uh, to your local shopping centre or your local, you know, supermarket. Um, but please, guys, like I said, you know, the channel is there as, you know, for us to reach out. Um, and really, look, you know, guys, I'm not going to be covering stuff like Yeezys, um, Nikes and all that kind of stuff. You know, um, unfortunately, um, I used to be into the Yeezys. Um, I sold a lot of it. Uh, there's a lot of sneaker connoisseurs, a lot of guys on YouTube that do a fantastic job um, at already covering those. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I lost my passion for Yeezys, um, only for the fact of I, I just, you know, simply couldn't uh, fathom or justify now, you know, paying a thousand plus dollars per pair. I, look, don't get me wrong. I used to. Um, I'm not going to sit here and say, you know, got to get it retail. Um, let's be honest, the resale market is what drives some of these um, shoes and unfortunately if you've got the, if you don't have the connections or you don't have the know-how on how to cop, um, you're just going to miss out and unless you're willing to pay a thousand bucks on a pair of Yeezys, uh, I was in that stage, um, you know what, nowadays I'd rather drop you know, a grand on some you know, luxury sneakers which at the end of the day you know are worth more than 300 bucks. Yeah, and that's just the way I think. Um, I'm not saying that I don't have any pairs and I'm not going to share them, but you know, um, unfortunately, unless it's something that's unique or something that's um, what I feel is like, you know, what my channel or what, you know, what I aim to bring out to you guys um, meets that criteria, unfortunately, I probably won't cover it. 
Uh, for me, I really want to you know touch on you know some of the shoes that are you know surrounding me. There's a lot of shoes down the bottom underneath the table that you probably can't see. Um, and in in mind in saying that, there's probably another 20 pairs in the next room. Um, it, it is going to be a channel where we you know we meet up on a weekly you know I, I do endeavour on a weekly basis that we'll catch up and we'll you know we'll, we'll just talk. We'll talk about what I like, you know about the sneaker, what I like it and what I don't like, what I do want to see or I wish they would have done. Um, and also, you know, some of the stuff that's popping up on Instagram and in your socials, um, anything topical that, you know, which I think, you know, is appealing or what, you know, might be interest me um, and might interest you for those who do like and subscribe the video um, and my content. Um, look, like I said, guys, it's not about being viral. It's not about me sitting here and saying, look at me and look at what I have. It's really for me to connect with you guys on the other end um, and, you know, share that passion. Unfortunately, you know, and I'll be honest, you know, not everyone has, you know, a thousand, two thousand dollars to drop on a pair of sneakers. Um, and I get that, you know. Um, so guys, it's really, you know, how do we connect? You know, how do we talk about, you know, being able to go into some of, you know, boutiques and how do we create those relationships as well, like you and I will. Um, but how do you create those relationships with some of the boutiques or with some of the, um, the sales team? Um, so you become first pick for you know for new drops um, I know that in my wife's Chanel connection um, you know size 37 in the ladies probably one of the hardest ones to get um, I've been fortunate enough it's taken time to build that relationship it's one of the biggest relationships we've had to build um, where you know I, you know on the regular I'll get a text from the girls saying hey you know Imran are you interested in this or you know are you interested in that for me there's a lot of them that we turn down because I believe you know Chanel's gonna be classic um, but don't get me wrong, there's some, uh, some of the sneakers that they come out with which just adds a little bit of flair which I think you know, just sets a little bit different. Um, when I cover you know, our Versace pairs, to me Versace's got to be about being out there. Um, Versace's known for you know, um, being colourful, I think, um, being, you know, call it a little bit more creative um, and that's probably where I'm leaning to nowadays. I think colour to me um, before I met my wife, I was only wearing black and I was only wearing grey. Um, and I'll be honest with you now, um, you're probably looking at me and I look like a big Jaffa. Um, but, you know, I think colour brings happiness and that's, you know, that's just me now. Um, I know my face probably doesn't show it, but when it comes to sneakers, I think that's the first step. Um, also, I cover Christian Louboutin. Um, I've got a big passion now for Christian Louboutin, don't get me wrong. Um, before, I was, like I said, I was all about Louis Vuitton. Um, I was, you know, I don't really own Gucci to be honest. Um, Gucci for me is probably, you know, it's hit and miss. Um, my wife's got some pieces from Gucci, which I think are beautiful. I love the floral stuff, um, but for me, it's only unless it's seasonal and it's like the exclusive, you know, short period of time will I ever look at something in that. Um, I think they've been done. It's the same pattern day in day out, and we'll talk about in future videos, you know, my reasons for it, uh, why I stayed clear from it. Um, but when it comes to Christian Louboutin, um, like Versace, for me, it's got to be something that's out there. Um, you know, I, I think when I've touched on, and I'll touch on my future videos with you guys, um, for me, the, the sneaker makes the outfit. Um, I used to have, you know, a lot of uh, watches, a lot of things that, you know, call them accessories. Uh, for me, you know, a simple pair of kicks uh, with some simple... Um, you know, uh, clothing uh, speaks volumes to me, and that's really you know the kind of stuff that you know that's my passion. And I hope you know to, when I reach out to you guys, and you guys can find you know a little bit of you know uh, commonality with me, um, where you know we're on the same page, and you know it's probably something that you drive uh, when you strive towards. Um, and that's really what I want this channel to be about, both men and women. Um, you know, uh, I'll be foolish to say. If there aren't some women's pairs that I wish that they made in men's, because some of the ladies' styles and some of the um, some of the designs, I think on par, like you know, you can't beat. And I just wish, you know, and that's probably something that you know, I wish that I'll talk about the, the what I like and what I don't like. Um, furthermore, guys, you know, uh, I think for me, um, I'm going to keep this video short. It was really more of an introduction. Like I said, I do apologise that it's probably not going to be the most professional of videos. Um, I, you know, I, I understand, you know, there will always be some criticisms and look guys, I really want you to give me that feedback. 
Um, like I said, it's not every day that I sit in front of the camera and I try and talk about, you know, my passion. Um, but I'm sure, you know, some things will resonate and we can build this, you know, channel together. Um, like I said, it's not about, you know, building numbers. Um, it's genuinely there to, you know, to link in with you guys uh, from all around the world um, and share with me, you know, what's out there in your neck of the woods. Um, because like I said, in Sydney, um, we probably don't get every single drop based on just seasonality. Um, we tend to, you know, a lot of the, the major houses move their, um, their lines from city to city and unfortunately, you know, the land down under doesn't get everything straight up. Um, so a lot of the pairs that I've had to get, I've had to source from international um, just because they'll never come to Sydney. Um, and that's unfortunate because I think, you know, some of the sneaker culture here in Sydney is some of the biggest... Um, and unfortunately, you know, um, you know, unless you have the, you know, the resources or the, um, the connections to try and capture some of these, um, a lot of it goes missed and, you know, I think, you know, um, it's unfortunate, you know, and I wish, you know, it was probably the other way around, um, hence why, you know, and, that, and I'll touch on that with another video around Louis Vuitton and why I've kind of, Given them the flick to a degree, not that I'm saying that I'll never shop there or never be into them as like as much as I used to. I think creativity, especially when you're paying fifteen hundred plus a pair, um, I'd like to see something a little bit more than just recycled, you know, designs uh, with a bit of a bit of a twist. Um, you got to be original, and that's why you know this channel will bring to you what I like, what I've got. Uh, what I think steps out and what, you know, differentiates some brands or some different sneakers between each other. Um, so guys, like I said, appreciate your support. I thank you for watching this first video. I know it's probably not the greatest, like I said. Um, you know, like always, stay blessed. Um, I hope that, you know, we'll catch up in the next video. If you do like what you see, um, please support the channel. Um, just like, subscribe. Um, don't forget to hit that bell notification. Um, you know, we'll try and meet up on a weekly basis. If not, definitely on a fortnightly basis, I'll bring some new content to you. Um, I have got a lot to try and cover. It won't be limited to sneakers. I'm sorry, I should say that as well. Um, we will cover some, you know, high-end clothing, bags, um, you know, just accessories, stuff like that. Um, and like I said, you probably won't see too much around Jordans and Yeezys and that. However, um, if I do see or if I do, you know, feel that, you know, some of the um, I definitely do have a pair of um, shoes that I want to share with you. It was definitely one pair of shoes that I kind of overpaid on. Um, there is a story behind that, and like all my videos, there will always be a background story. Um, we all live and learn, um, but I hope to catch you on the next video. Please, like I said, please support the channel. Um, please leave a comment down below. Um, tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you want to hear. Um, please, and you know, any criticism, whether it be positive or negative, I'm open to it because it's only here to you know provide you guys with a bit of an insight um, and also connect with you. Um, catch you on the next video, guys. My name's Imran, and we'll catch you next one. Feel free to add me on Instagram, Insta Lux Trends. Um, that's my handle. Um, you won't see much on there at the moment. I'm still building it because I've been just sidetracked with everything else that's been coming my way, um, especially work and all. Um, hope you enjoy your New Year's and if I don't catch you before New Year's, um, stay please safe, um, look after each other, look after your family and hope to see you soon.